Wonder, 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 wonder. Hi, Wonder. I'm Uzo. And I'm Ugo. And we are the, the G Girls. And welcome to another episode of Studio, Studio Medicine. Wonder, 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 wonder. I'm Uzo, the Ada. And I'm Ugo, the Ugo. And we are the G Girls. Come take a look into our vibrant world. We are sisters, and not just any sisters, but Igbo sisters with passions for our beautiful culture. We'll be interviewing your favorite Afro creatives and having inspiring, real, and of course, gisty conversations. So take a deep breath, check your pulse, and come vibe with the G Girls. This is Studio Medicine. Every time, dancing, dancing, dancing. Yes, my dancing. YouTube. You yeah, know we I love know. to dance. That's true. Honestly, right. like now that I'm thinking about it, we've been dancing all of our lives. No, you're right. And honestly, it all really started back, you know, when we were doing Ibweze Dancing Group. Mm, and Ibweze Dancing Group. I know you guys are group. like, what, what is Ibweze <laughs> Dancing Group? So shout out to our sweet Nna and Nne yes. for honestly giving us that exposure earlier on when we were very, very young yeah. to our culture, you know. Daddy, who founded the Igbo community in the Carolinas organization, I see, I see, I see. and him and mommy working to put on the annual New Yen Festival, which yeah. is a huge cultural event specifically for Igbo, you know, and also how they were able to tie into it the health care component, where screenings and other yeah, uh, health mom were really done. bringing in that health background yeah. to being able to bring out the community to not only enjoy the richness of the Igbo culture, but yes. also get their blood sugars you know Test, tag yeah. tested their blood pressures tested and yes. screened for so it was really amazing it was really amazing honestly that's where I would say our quote unquote dance career yeah because we were dancing at the festival exactly. we had our little uniform, uniform and everything okay but serious question though what there's so many dance moves right now okay. afro dance moves it's every day is shoulder then one is your hand and your foot yeah. is so many yeah. give me your top three or four afro dance moves to date mm, there's several okay top three or four okay for me you yeah know, i know you said latest but i'm gonna give you some of what i would consider a little bit more dated but not too old but just a little bit okay okay so all right first off i have to include this is shaku shaku you oh, know this one, you know? You really have to, That's okay, right. and then you pick up the phone, <laughs> yeah. hang it up. Uh-huh, love that <laughs> dance, okay? Okay, that's one. Number two, I'm gonna say, oh, this one is easy. Well, mm. I'm gonna be a little corny, okay? Okay. But, you know, I'm a student, so you know the focus, you know? Mm. Focus dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Focus on your life. Mm -hmm. Focus on your boots. You have to. <laughs> Focus on everything. Focus on everything. <laughs> love that dance, yeah. Um, Give me like two more. Uh, Okay, this one is gonna be a tie. Okay. Um, I don't really know actually the exact name of these dances, but I can show you. So yeah. the first one is almost like shivering. Oh, it's I like to call swimming. Yeah, if you guys women dance. If you guys know the name of that dance, leave yeah. it in the comments for us. Yeah, because we don't know. Yeah. But we just Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and then the tie with that one is the one where it's like almost like you're eating fufu. You know when you're and then, mm, and then you get a little bit aggressive yeah, with it. So yeah, those, those are my top faves. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Also, chere, chere, chere. I know everyone is enjoying the episode, but it's time for the health check. So, Ugo, we know from past research, even our previous studio medicine episodes, that musical experiences like listening to music, singing lyrics can have a positive influence on health, right? And well being. But what about dancing? One, let me tell you, eh? Dancing has so many benefits for us. Number one, emotionally, it improves mood. Two, physically, it helps with balance, mobility, strength, cardiovascular health. Three, socially, dancing, you know, in friend groups and exercise groups just brings us all together. 
virtually, you know, connecting us via TikTok challenges and even spiritually. Uh-uh. We got all of that? Well, I better start practicing my leg work. Uh, can I please join you now? Mm -hmm. I love that. It's like dancing, I don't know, it's just so fun. There's so many dance moves. Like it's really just about moving your body. And yes. even though we do it for fun, there are some people who actually make a living off yes. of dancing and so are talented. so talented. And the way they move, they move their bodies, it's yes. just like, how can you do that? How do you Impeccable, do that? Impeccable, for sure. So we were able to interview one of the most talented Afro dancers to date. Yes. And he has worked alongside some of the major names in the world, like yes. the Queen B herself, Beyonce, Beyonce Rihanna, yes. and so, so, so many more. I think you should probably know who I'm talking about by now. You already know who it is. It's the one and only Poppy Ojo. And let's roll, roll the clip. The and welcome to another episode of Studio Medicine with your favorite duo, the G Girls. My name is Uzo. And my name is Ugo. And today we are joined with a very special, multi talented leader in the field, everything you can imagine. We're here with Papi Ojo. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. How are you guys doing today? Good. <laughs> Good. Good. And so, Papi Ojo, as you know, this is studio medicine and ultimately trying to think about what Afro health means. And mm -hmm. so we just want to first start off by asking, can you, can you introduce yourself? Who, who is who is Papi Ojo? <laughs> yeah, where did the name come from? Where, like, why Papi Ojo? Where does that come from? Good morning, good morning. My name is Papi Ojo, P-A-P-I-O-J-O. -O. Um, I'm a choreographer, dancer, musician, and an actor, also a model. Um, just everything that has to do with the industry. Um, Magic. My POJ is just my my name, man. That's I got the name for performing out of school in LIU right here in Brooklyn, and wow. that's why I got the name, and I stuck with it over to now. So that's who I am, man. I feel you. <laughs> oh wow, that's so awesome. So again, like how we were kind of discussing before here at Studio Medicine, we really center our conversations around health and wellness and you have really centered your life around creativity and dance and you know you being an artist so we want to ask you how important is dance specifically to your overall wellness so this can be your physical mental and emotional health oh man dance dance is it plays a huge impact in my life because like dance is where i go whenever i feel stressed you know like whenever i feel down or like i need a pick me up I go dance like and you know like for 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 like just for like losing losing like losing calories and losing weight too like like mm -hmm. whenever I'm dancing it keeps me active it keeps me in shape you know so dance is it plays a major impact in my life I'm 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 an athlete so um, I play soccer and I also play basketball so um, whenever I'm not doing that I'm dancing so just to keep me in shape whenever I'm off season I'm dancing so I'm never out of shape it's like a bit more of a cycle so that's like, right. Yes. And so you have, to, you have to remain a fine boy at all times. Right? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned, you know, you're all about, you're an athlete, you know, for your physical health, but we just want to hear from you. What does, what does wellness mean to you? Like, how do you know when you're good, you're feeling well? Like, what does that, what does that mean to you? I mean, I see it whenever I'm not, whenever I'm not like healthy, the way I want to be, or whenever I'm not like in shape, I see it. Like I see it in my, in my body. Like I feel it. I feel very, very heavy sometimes. So like whenever I'm, I'm healthy and I'm in shape, I just know, you know, it's like, I could, it's like, it's like a mental thing. You can yes. feel, you feel like you wake up early, you go, you go, like you're always on the go, like you just feel good. Whenever I'm out of shape, I just feel sluggish and slow. I get tired very really easily, and like, I can tell by the food I'm eating too. Like sometimes, <laughs> like I get into like I get into this like this little funk of just eating like unhealthy. But I feel like everybody goes goes gets into that little like that little like time frame, yeah. But whatever, I, like I'm in that little time frame, I just feel slow and tired. But like I would like to stop eating unhealthy sometimes, but. <laughs> <laughs> some, some, some days you need the nice little grease like, or like, extra fries. Fries. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> what does what does your health routine look like now like when you're saying okay i'm gonna get back on it just that day to day when you know like you're really on top of it what does that wellness routine look like for you um 
what what that looks like for me is actually waking up to get breakfast. Okay. <laughs> like I'm the yeah. kind of guy like just I wake up and I'm always on the go, so I don't eat breakfast. I just probably eat lunch. So mm-hmm. like actually like paying attention to like what I'm eating and like you know measuring and stuff like that. So like end up eating breakfast like cereal or milk, you know, and then like I eat lunch. I be like mm-hmm. my fruits and veg, my fruits and veggies, and I eat my dinner. And like in between that, I go to practice. Like you know, I'll go to soccer practice like to run off like whatever like sugar I've had during the day. Yes. So that, but like, whenever I'm I'm on, I'm unhealthy, like, you know, I don't even do that. Like, I don't even go to practice. I just, I'm just like, I'm tired, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah. So like, whenever like I feel healthy, I always have that drive to like keep that keep that like keep that shape going. Like, I just like okay, like next, 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 next. Like, I yeah. like feeling like I always want to stay there. Like, whenever I feel good, I want to stay in that like not high. So like, I'm always looking for like the next. Like, okay, I need to go. Like, whenever, even if I'm yeah. tired, I'm like just okay, get up, go. You know. Yes. Cruise, you did cruise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next question I have is a little bit more. I don't want to say juicy, but it has a little bit more spice to it. Okay. A little spicy, yeah. Just a little bit. A little touchy. Yeah, a little touchy. But as you know, a lot of times in the African community, mm-hmm. especially when we look at older generations, perhaps you know, parents, our auntie, the uncles, you know that that mm-hmm. generation. There's oftentimes this perception that they have we hear it everywhere we go but if you're not a doctor if you're not a lawyer if you're not an engineer then what are you really doing you know there's not necessarily much value sometimes placed in a lot of maybe humanities or creative forms or um, careers such as dance acting you know music etc and so we wanted to ask you you know as someone who has been able to excel in your career like you you have been featured you've worked with several talented people Beyonce being just one of those people you know you've been able to you know live out this dream and do well and you know perform well and so we wanted to ask you how have you been able to cope with or just navigate those negative stereotypes especially in the african community sometimes associated with being a creative being a dancer being a model being an actor how do you deal with that um honestly um i just have to just be grateful for the people i have around me like my community and like my support group They've, they've been very, very supportive, especially my parents, you know, like the first, your first like line of support is your parents, like your family. And uh, my parents have always been supportive. So when it comes to like the stereotype, like I won't say I didn't face it, because obviously like you have like people around you, like when you go to church, who see what you're doing and they, they look down on it based on their own personal insecurities and stuff like that. But my parents, they were, they were never insecure about what I wanted to do. Like, you know, they've seen the talent from young. They've seen like me and my older brother at the time dancing from young. So when we decided to like want to take it more serious, like they're like, hey, like we understand. Just make sure you stay in school and you guys have the freedom to do what you want to do. And like, that's literally been like my support group. And when I told my parents like I needed a year off of school to really like focus on like this, my arts and craft and like, well, and also take, I took another year off of school to work with Beyonce. They understood, they were like, you know, like if this, if this is really what you want to do, go ahead. We see you making strides like, and it's like, when it comes to this career, <clears throat> You also, as the talent, have to like make strides. You can't just be doing it and be stagnant and like, you know, there's no results. So like the fact that we had results and I had results and I had like, I was like, you know, getting better and like getting more bookings and stuff like that. My parents, my parents were able to see that and they were, they were able to trust me in what I decided to do. So honestly, like everybody around me has been very supportive, but that's also because like I'm putting, I'm putting in my own work too. Like I'm doing my homework, I'm practice, I'm training every day and like, I'm like, I'm actually getting booked for stuff. You know, I'm actually seeing success. You know, it's not like I'm just like, they're just stagnant. There's nothing happening. I'm just like, the level I was yesterday is the level I am today. Like my price of yesterday is to my price of today. Like, it's not like that. They see like growth. So, you know, you can- That's amazing. Yes, we we commend that. And fun fact, you know, yes. Ufon and I, yes, you know, we are kind of on the opposite of the totem pole. We're in school, we're pursuing these careers in science, healthcare. But one thing that maybe people know, maybe people don't know, is ever since we were small, when I say small, I mean like kindergarten even, uh-huh. our dad was, he's a very, like in tune with his culture he loves his culture the nigerian after he's ingrained it in us and we actually yeah. used to dance there was it was a dancing group yes we captain of the dancing group. <laughs> even, we even back then we used to go like when i was in middle school even when we were in high school at pep yeah. rallies we used to say can we we want to perform what 
before Afro beats was even necessarily yeah. that we used to go and dance. And so yeah. just I just wanted to let you know that even though you know we have individuals that are like in STEM and science, at least with us in this studio of medicine, we want to show that we value creativity, right. we value right. art. We feel like it, it's all a part of you know who we are as people. It all yeah. plays a role in our wellness right. and our health. And so it's equally as important to you know right. shine light on those areas. And so right. we commend you. Yes. We get your work. <laughs> So, so yeah. I have another question kind of to follow up on everything you said. So for upcoming boys or men in particular who are wanting to pursue dance or, you know, become an artist, what sort of advice will you give them for, because maybe these individuals don't necessarily have that support that you have and they may be struggling. So right. what sort of advice would you give someone that's sort of up and coming and looking for opportunity, but also ready to work? Like, honestly, you have to understand that, like, we're in a world of, like, of, we're in a digital world now. So, like, honestly, you don't need, you don't need your, your friends to support you. You don't need your friends to support you. Like, as long as you trust yourself and have, you have, like, you're a person that has a mind of creativity and, like, you know, like, you're creative, you know, like, we see a lot of creatives just, like, popping off off like whatever these days you know like so it's like yes. trust your process like you know you obviously want you obviously like hope like your family members and like your friends will support what you're doing but like when you at the top of the when you're at the top of the food chain who's not going to support you you feel me like so it's like you have to deal with it like even if you do have that support you still have to deal with like people still hating on you and like hating on your work so it's like mm -hmm. yeah, they're gonna deal with it regardless so like why not just trust yourself and do what makes you happy because in this in this life man, we can't kill ourselves i'm yeah. telling you i can't come and kill like, myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, why why indulge and put your time in things that make you unhappy you understand like, right. like we humans we tend to do that we tend to like try to please people for ourselves so it's like no man like do what makes you happy like even if you're not seeing results as as of yet like at least you're happy a lot of people see results in things they do and they're very not unhappy like the person yes. so it's like pick your poison like do you want to be unhappy and you know and be doing things you don't like or like you know be happy and do things you like like mm -hmm. i'd rather be happy making whatever amount of money i'm making yeah happy than to be stressed depressed ha angry all the time making like things like Pick your poison, man. So, like, as a creative, if you're like, if you really push it to do what you want to do, as an upcoming dancer, actor, singer, whatever, like, do what makes you happy because, like, you rather invest your time in things that make you happy than things that, that doesn't Definitely. make you happy. So, speaking of doing things that kind of make you happy, oftentimes people will say, like, yeah, when they're listening to music, specifically Afro beats, like, it just makes them feel somehow, you know, it really gives them the vibe, the energy. And I want you to kind of discuss to you what do you think is the therapeutic power of Afrobeat music and dance? Like, how do you find it to be therapeutic? Or what do you think are outside perceptions of like how people find it to be therapeutic? That's, that's, that's the root of all music, man. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. That's the root of like how how is the root of music not going to make you happy or not make not going to make you feel something, something spiritual? You have to understand like this is where music stems from. You understand? So like every, right. every form of music we have stems from this. So the fact that people are not getting back into like the root of like their their origin of the music they were born into, you understand? It's, like, it's beautiful and like it's not to see it. And like we as Africans and we as like we're, we're proud of it now. Like not that we've never been proud of it, but like now, like you know, like we we have we are we're, we're in it. You understand? Like now we see people people start to see the joy we get in our in our percussions, in our melodies, in our in all in all like aspect of music. Now they start to see the beauty of it. And the fact that they're appreciating it like makes us happy and it makes us make more bangers, you understand? So that's right. <laughs> Afro beats to the world now. Yes. You know? so. yeah. <laughs> uh, our next question is ultimately making you like, think big picture you know mm -hmm. a lot of times we're oftentimes you know in our own little niche in our little community but we wanted to ask you specifically with just thinking of progress and progression and your platform that you've worked so hard to create right. and develop but what types of messages just from your own story from your work from what you put out in terms of content for people what type of messages do you hope to spread maybe to specifically people who are you know who are able to resonate with us in terms of our identity as mm -hmm. in africans in the u.s or in the in beyond so what, what type of messages do you hope to spread um when i when i when i like put out my work 
And um, when I like, you know, put my work out there, you know, um, honestly, I can't, I can't really tell or say what uh, people will interpret my work as, you understand? But when I put my work out there, like I just want people to be able to see the beauty of like my creative process and like, and also like, like invoke hope in them, you know, of, like, you know, just, hey, like if I could do it, you could do it too. You understand? Like I'm not, I'm not that much different from, from you. You understand? I started somewhere. So if I'm able to like, work hard and like, you know, be able to like do this kind of work, then why can't you do it? You understand? Like just go out there and connect with people. Like, you know, like don't be don't be afraid, don't be shy. You know, I know people could mm. people could be assholes sometimes and stuff like that, but we have to deal with that regularly. Like, you know, like we deal with people who are assholes all the time. You understand? So like why not deal with an asshole who is going to like who is in the lane of work you love to do. You understand there like so it's just that's that's honestly just like my mentality mentality man. Like just like hey like I'm doing it, you could do it too. Like, you know, I'm your I'm your neighbor, like and like I'm I'm the guy you see walking down the street taking the train and stuff like that. Like, you know, yeah. and I'm still able to like indulge and like and like put this much work into into this thing. So why can't you? Like, you know, what's what's stopping you? So that's the message message I hope people could take from my work. Like, hey, just go out there and do it. You know? Wow, no, thank you for sharing. I just feel like even in this short amount of time, I'm just like, wow, you're so genuine. You're so like personable. Like, you thank know, you. who wouldn't want to connect with someone like you? So I'm, yeah. we're wishing you much more success, much more love. I guess, you know, we just have to throw this out there. But today, what is your favorite dance to do? Oh uh, man, is that is that is that new side step thing that goes like that? Like okay, you know, talking about like, <laughs> yeah. like hey, yeah, I, think I think is it. We'll, we'll try and maybe yeah, exactly. yeah, we'll, we'll start it happy, happy, happy feet, man. Happy That's, feet. Okay, with with your hands, what type of mood do you you know? You mean you understand? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you so thank much you. again. Hopefully, we didn't keep you too long, but we no, love no, 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 talking. Fun. Yes, so we love talking with you, and hopefully, you'll be back to speak with us or dance with us. We gotta get up. We gotta get into the street. We gotta get in. Man, whenever you guys have my contact now, so whenever you guys want the link, just let right, me know. Sure. Good. Good. Yeah. Sure. Thank, thank you so much, much for your time. Oh, right. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs>